So the point we got involved with the Mythbusters exhibit was when we received the approved designs. And once we get the approved designs, we're tasked with realizing those in the designer's vision, meaning we have to figure out how to make all this stuff. We have meetings and we decide, hey, this is how we're going to build it. These are the materials we're going to use. Once things get drafted, then we review them, review them with a client, and then we also review them with the guys in the shop that are going to be fabricating them. And once we have all these review processes, we make revisions, we make changes, it goes out into the shop and begins fabrication. At certain points during the fabrications, there's milestones that we set up where there's client reviews. People come in at 50%, 60%, 100% just to make sure that the project stays on target and we're all on the same page as far as what the vision is wants to be. One of the most challenging elements in the exhibit was Running in the Rain, which was also one of the most popular Mythbusters episodes. In the show, it's very easy for them to have data collection. They were able to weigh their suits. If you put that in the context of 8,000 visitors going through the museum in the course of a day, there's no way that would work. You know, there's no way that you could put 8,000 jumpsuits and have 8,000 people weigh it. So what we came up with, we had the idea that, what if we put something in the water? What if it was something that you were able to see on yourself? And you weren't getting necessarily exact data as far as it was X amount of water more, but it was, hey, I'm wetter than you, or you're wetter than I am. I was running, you were walking. So we developed a whole system using narrowband spectrometer cameras and video feeds, UV light, and a medical grade dye tracer that is visible to light, but visible under black light, but is non-toxic, safe, non-staining, and all of these requirements that you need in a museum environment, which is really difficult. The culmination of this whole process here in fabrication in the shop is the, the final, they're called a factory acceptance test. It's where everybody comes here, the client, the discovery network, and we have the whole entire exhibit set up in the shop. Everything is here and working. We've got the graphics printed. We've got all the interactives functioning. You know, this is our chance to present our final completed work as a preview before everybody gets to see it. And it's, once again, a final reality check. I think when fans of the show come and see this, they are going to be blown away. I think for a start, you walk in and the first thing you immediately see is the blueprint room and all these iconic props. That really sets the scene. But then when you come into this area and there are all these experiments, I think fans are going to not know what to do first. They're going to be like kids in a candy store. Should they do the buttered toast? Should they do the running in the rain or the change like a superhero? I think they're going to be very excited. We brought everybody here, we had a great lunch, and just let everybody play with everything for a few hours. We walked around, we got minimal notes, so that let us know that our process was great to begin with, that we had really worked along the path as a team creatively and just made some very minor adjustments to what we had been doing. And then literally the next day, everything started coming down, going in crates, and five days later we were installing it in the museum.